Hey, what's up everybody? Alright, so today I'm checking out the Food Packet Survival General Purpose. This one right here has a date code of 1027, putting this one produced in 2011 on the 27th day. Now this is one of the newer style made by New View, Oklahoma. They went through quite a few different names, but it was always basically the same company. They just kind of bounced around a little bit. It was Oklahoma League for the Blind, and then it was uh, Cincinnati League for the Blind, and then it's uh, New View, Oklahoma. So always the same company. They just, like I said, changed their name and bounced around locations. But this is the newer style, and right here is the older style. Now the Food Packet Survival General Purpose took the place, the Food Packet Survival Arctic, and the Food Packet Survival Tropic. This right here is the second year of the Food Packet Survival General Purpose. Now Steve has a first year. They were, These started being produced in 1965. This one right here was produced November of 1966. So this is the second year for the Food Packet Survival General Purpose. We'll be checking this one out sometime. I'll put a link to Steve's video right here. You guys go check it out for the first year of the Food Packet Survival General Purpose. We'll be checking this one out sometime. This one right here actually came out of the same hot climate kit that Steve's first year Food Packet Survival General Purpose came from, which is like a 50-pound survival kit. I actually have one. I'll show you guys pictures of that right now. Mine's 100% complete. And before I open it up, I just wanted to give some shout-outs to a couple people that left really nice comments on the last video. This is something I'm going to start doing, I think. If you guys like this, uh, let me know down in the comments that you like what I'm doing. And if you leave really good comments, maybe uh, you'll be on the next video getting a shout-out. But uh, shout-outs go to Calliest Enoch, a uh, little older, and Polly's MRE Reviews. Um, I know Polly has a channel. You guys go check him out. I've talked to Polly on and off for well over a year now. So uh, if you guys leave some cool comments, I might give you a shout out in the next video. All right, let's go ahead and get this thing opened up and see what we've got inside. Actually, I'm going to open the bottom. All right, there we go. Absolutely no smells coming out of there. That's a good sign. Just going to go ahead and dump it all out. Empty box. All right, first thing out of there, we got an iced tea drink mix. Got a package of wintergreen tablets. Date code on them is 0308, so the 308th day of 2010. We got some chicken bouillon by Herbox. Here's your cornflake cereal bar. It says may be crumbled and rehydrated with a small amount of water. Made by Sterling Foods. Cool. Next up we got a granola bar and it says the same thing that it can be crumbled up with a small amount of water. Here's the shortbread bar and there's another shortbread bar. And last but definitely not least is the chocolate chip dessert bar. Alright so there's everything all laid out. I'm going to go ahead and get this stuff put out on the tray and I'll be right back with you. Alright so we'll start off by getting our Herbox chicken mixed up and see what this is looking like. I don't even know if this is going to be any good or not guess we'll find out. Oh no, that's not good. Hmm, it still smells okay. It's just, oh. Yeah. I don't know about that, guys. I guess in a survival situation, I'd be trying to get this off of here, so give it a shot. I mean, if all you had was this stuff to eat, this Herbox chicken would probably be a nice change from the other contents of this ration. Go ahead and add a little bit of water to that and just see what happens. Let's set it back here and see if it does any better. Next up, we've got our tea to make. It takes six ounces. I'm going to use cool water on this. Now that looks perfect. A real quick stir. 
Now this spoon right here is the type of spoon that you would have in the hot climate or the cold climate kit also in the survival kit. I know with cool water the drink mix isn't going to want to dissolve that well. Alright, let's start with one of the short bread bars and get that opened up. A nice vacuum hiss on that. Excuse the big diesel truck going by. Let's check this out. Give it a smell. Mm, oh wow, that smells fantastic. Look at that. Let's see what the cornflake cereal bar is looking like. Give that a smell. Mmm. That smells completely different. That smells kind of like a pop tart. Next up, we got our granola bar. They've all got a nice little vacuum release on them. Which is always good. I'll check that one out. Mmm, that smells like cinnamon and sugar. Mmm, smells really nice. And we got one more bar to look at, and that is our chocolate dessert bar. Now I've had these before, and they are usually really good. Oh yeah, look at that. Give that a smell. That one doesn't have a whole lot of a smell to it. It just smells vaguely of chocolate. Alright, so let's go ahead and start giving these a try. I'm going to start with the cornflake cereal bar down here. And give that a try. There's you a good look at the cross section on that. Alright, here we go. Down the hatch. That is a lot more delicate than I remember. It's not very hard. And it tastes exactly like cornflakes. Exactly as advertised. It tastes just like you're eating cornflakes. It's not very sweet, but it is sweet. It's a lot softer than any of the other ones I've had before. I've had cornflake cereal bars before, but usually the ones that I've had have been um, 30 years old or so. I guess the fresher they are, the softer they are maybe. I know that uh, this one right here, the shortbread bar, feels really hard. Go ahead and give it a try that this time. Kind of odd looking, but it smells fantastic. I wish you guys could smell that. If we had smell of vision you guys would love the way that smells. All right, let me give this one a try. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, yeah. This one's considerably more sweet than the uh, the cornflake bar, and it's about five times harder than the cornflakes bar. But once you get it and you get start chewing it up, it's kind of granular. It's got uh, a lot of sugar involved in there, a lot of shortening. It's got a buttery flavor to it. It's just an awesome shortbread flavor. If they sold these, I would buy these all day long. Mmm. One other thing I'll add about the texture, you know like whenever, if you guys have ever had the little round, they're like uh, little round sweet tarts, and they're called Smarties, like you throw a handful of those in your mouth and you chew them up and they start breaking up into little teeny tiny pieces and rubbing on your teeth, that's exactly what the texture of this is like once you start chewing it up. It's kind of interesting, it's not like what you would think it would be, it's definitely not like eating a shortbread cookie. You can definitely tell that this is a survival bar and it has been compressed. I can't even remember, um, I told Steve one time how many pounds of pressure they used to compress these. It's something like 16,000 pounds of, of pressure to compress a bar, if I'm not mistaken. It's something crazy like that. But uh, next we're going to move on to the granola bar. Give that a try. And this is the one that smelled like cinnamon really strong. Let's see the cross section on this one. Yeah, this one looks like it's got considerably more roughage to it which is to be expected with it being the granola bar. Mmm, smells really good. Give that a try. This one's considerably softer than uh, the shortbread bar, and there's definitely a lot of grain to it. It's really fibrous when you're chewing on it. You can kind of see it's kind of layered, and it's fibery. It's got a lot of uh, grains going on in there. It's really good. The cinnamon and sugar come through really strong on that, which is really nice. Check these out. Before I go any further, I'm going to crush some of this up right here and add a little bit of water to it. I've always wanted to try it. I don't have any cream or anything to add to this, so it'll just be on its own. I'm also going to add this little piece of cornflake bar in there also. And add just a little bit of water to that. 
mix it up a little bit and I'll leave it set for a little bit to soak up some of that water. All right, I'm going to get go ahead and I'm going to try this chicken and it just does not look right. So All right, here we go. I'm going to give it a try anyway. Hmm. It actually tastes pretty good. Yeah, that's not bad. I don't know if that could make me sick or not, where that was already, um, like, in a gummy, reconstituted form. So I'm not going to drink a whole lot of that, just in case. All right, I'm going to give my mix a try here and see how this is. This wet mix with some granola and cornflake cereal bar. There's a close-up look at that. This looks like it's going to be pretty good. It's reconstituted fairly well. That's kind of just like what you would expect. It kind of tastes, uh, still kind of tastes like it's just water in there. And I can still distinguish between the granola bar and the cornflake cereal bar taste. I can taste that cinnamon and sugar in there. It's not bad. It kind of gives you more of a sense like you're eating uh, something for a meal. Gives you a little bit of liquid in there also. It's not bad. I would probably eat some this way. All right, before I move on to the dessert bar, I'm going to go ahead and uh, give this tea a try. See yeah. Good look at that. It looks like it's all dissolved fairly well. All right. Yeah, that's really good iced tea right there. It's got a really strong flavor of lemon. It kind of reminds me of Lipton iced tea with the lemon in it. It's not quite as strong as that, which I might have added a little bit too much water. But it's very similar to the Lipton iced tea to give you guys something to compare it to. I think the lemon's a little bit stronger in this, though. Definitely uh, quenches your thirst, which I think is the main point of that. None of these uh, bars really made me thirsty, so that's kind of cool. Because you would think something dry and compressed like that would just make you really thirsty. But uh, I guess with all the carbohydrates and the sugar in there, I know these things are low protein. That way you're not using up a lot of your energy to convert the protein into energy. This is just kind of like uh, giving you a shot of straight energy with the carbohydrates. I want to get every bit of this goodness right here. This is good stuff. The longer it sat there, the better it got, obviously. Kind of rehydrated better. The flavor got better. All right, so we're down to the last bar, which is the chocolate dessert bar. And this is really a rare treat. This is the only place that I know that you can get a chocolate dessert bar, and that is out of a food packet survival general purpose. If these are in something else, I don't know about it. This bar right here is really soft. There's your look at the cross section on that. Looks really good. Give this a try. That is delicious. That's really a delicate treat. And that it really is a treat too. This does have some roughage in it. You know, um, it's kind of grainy in there. But the chocolate chips kind of remind me of, um, well, the chocolate chips that you'd find in a, in a regular cookie. They're very similar. They got a little bit of a bitter taste to them, but they're all bittersweet which is nice. Not just overtaking you with sweetness. You would think it'd be too sweet, but it's actually not. It's it's right on the uh, cusp of uh, being a little bit over the medium sweetness, I would say. Mm. Now, guys, you know me. Usually, I finish my rations, but this time, I'm saving these because my kids absolutely love these bars. So, I'm going to save them for them. And I'm shooting um, videos that are a little bit more simple because my camera has been messing up on me. I lost all the footage from the Australian CR1M that Dan sent in from Australia. I, I lost all of the preparing and opening of all the packages for breakfast. So I'm still going to roll with the video. I can't help it. Um, Dan sent it in. I really don't want to not put the video up. I've still got to eat the lunch and the dinner. But as far as shooting other videos, I've got to get a new camera and uh, I don't want to lose any more valuable footage like that. I mean, those rations are over $100 for a CR1M, plus Dan spent, I don't know, 60 some dollars just sending it here. So, I mean, I couldn't be more grateful, and I can't take a chance of losing anything like that. So, I just wanted to explain to you guys, I'm going to shoot some more simple, shorter videos. That way, I have less of a chance of losing footage. And if I do, the stuff will be on me, and I won't be losing stuff that you guys sent in. So, the last thing I got to try is this wintergreen tablet. Give that a try. Well, those are nice to freshen your palate up after eating all these sweet things. Really nice. And after about 10 seconds, you can just chew right through that. 
with no problems whatsoever. So that's kind of nice. All right, everybody. This has been the review of a 2011 Food Packet Survival General Purpose. And, of course, this is the time when I want to say a huge thanks to my Patreon family. Of course, there will be a list of them up on the screen right now. You guys are awesome. I really appreciate every little bit of help that I get. And once again, I want to mention that uh, my first live stream is coming up, and that's going to be the second Tuesday, which I think is it might be the 10th, the 9th of the 10th. I'm doing it at 8 p.m. on the Tuesday, so uh, you guys definitely uh, keep an eye out for that. Maybe you can sit down and have a ration with me. But all right, guys, well, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you do subscribe, make sure you hit that notification bell so YouTube can let you know if I put any new videos out. All right, well then, I guess all I got left to say is uh, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you on the next ration review. Later. Something else that I wanted to throw in here at the end that I wanted to mention, this will be after the whole video has ended, but uh, I actually got this food pack of survival off of RC Gusto a long time ago. I just wanted to throw that in there and thank him for hooking me up with this. All right, guys, later. Alright, so we'll start off by getting our Herbox chicken 